Tree and this is Stitchless TV and today we are going to make really fashionable teddy bears. Now my inspiration for this project came from my daughter, my 10 year old daughter, because look what she made and I thought if my daughter can make this teddy bear so can you. Today we're going to make a really fashionable teddy bear and the fabric that I'm using today is this. I'm hoping that it ends up having a little bit of a Jeff Koons feel about it. Cut out your pattern, really really important. Take note of any notches that appear on the pattern because they're going to be very very important. Also if you're doing fur it means it has a nap, so the fur goes in one direction. So not only do you need to cut it with a blade, but you have to have the pattern going in one direction, so the pile of the fur goes in one direction. One thing I didn't say is that if you don't have any stuffing material at home, then you can do what I'm doing today, which is basically attacking one of my old IKEA pillows. Really, you'll be very amazed how easy it is. So, the first thing that we need to do is to stitch up the back of the leg and stitch up the front of the leg. Now, when you get to this point here, you need to pivot the needle and then go around the foot. Now, I've got a weirdo fabric, but hopefully it's gonna be okay. So when you first start sewing, you've gotta go backwards and forwards to close the seam and then straight down, making sure your notches line up. And then you've got to sew up the other side. Backwards and forwards to start, going around that shape of the foot, and then I'm gonna leave my needle in, lift up the foot, remember to put it back down again, and go straight up. So that's what we've done. Now what we have to do is, that's the bottom of the foot, we have to get the little paddy bit, it's called a leg pad. We've got to fit it inside, line up all of our notches, got a notch that goes on the side, so if that lines up I know I'm okay, and then with the seam, I've got another notch that I need to line up on the whoop, paddy foot. Now don't worry about sewing slowly, you don't have to sew as fast as me. Just take your time, it's more important that you get, you get it right. So I've got one more notch here to line up, see those two there? And, and if things don't perfectly fit, you can always ease them or stretch them a tiny bit. So back and forwards at the end. Now usually in sewing, when we got a little bit that goes in like that, we have to do a snip so that the fabric can stretch and move when you turn it around the other way. Also, when you have curves, you're supposed to do little Vs into them, going all the way around, but I'm just gonna do a few little snips. And then when you've done that, you can turn your foot the right way round. Oh, that's so sweet, look. <gasps> so that's one foot. So just do exactly the same for the other foot. Now, I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to stuff it. Look at that, that is so good. So you've got two legs. Now what I'd say about when you do the stuffing, if you've pinched yours out of a cushion, you do need to loosen it up quite a bit first and do it a stage at a time so I'm making sure that the foot is completely stuffed out but not really hard. So before you move up the leg make sure it's really pushed into the toe and pushed into the heel because it will be easier to do it now than when you've got it all sewn together. Now you don't want to do it all the way to the top 
because what happens is, and don't make it too tight because you want it to be a little bit cuddly, although I'm not sure how cuddly mine's going to be with all these sequins. Um, you don't do it all the way to the top because what happens is you put it with the seams together so that the foot is facing head on and eventually this gets trapped into the seam for the tummy. So you need to be able to easily grab it and sew it. But look, we now have two glittery feet. Right, the next thing to do is to do the big tummy and the bum bum. So, the first thing I'm going to do is the bottom. So there's a dart here in the pattern and all that we do is we get one of the pieces, put it right sides together and just close off that dart and then do the same to the other side. So I folded it closed and backwards and forwards. And then same on the other side as well. So you end up with this sort of bottom kind of shape like that. So then what we need to do is stitch up that back seam, but it's very, very important that we leave a big opening because this is where most of the stuffing happens. So there's a notch here and there's a notch here. So I'm going to leave that as the gap because I know I need a big gap. So go backwards and forwards when you first start sewing up that seam. Stop at the first notch, come off the machine and then start at the next notch and go all the way up to the neck. So you end up with this and that's where your hole is. Now if you made a bigger one of these and you had a zip in there then it could be a pyjama case. Now put that to one side and then you need to sew up that big tummy at the front. So what we do is we're going to sew all the way around that big tummy and if we have any notches, we line them up. Now you can do a few snips into the curve of the tummy to make it sit better. But you can see how it comes together, can't you? So that's the tummy. And then this is the back. And now we have to put them together. But before we do, we're going to attach our legs onto the back. Now you can decide where you want to align your legs, but I basically, on, on my daughter's one, I told her to start at that center seam and just let them lay wherever they, they go to. Right, so make sure you attach them the right way around, okay? So pushing in all the stuffing and making sure that we're at the, the bottom and not, woo, making sure we're at the bottom and not on the neck. So checking which is gonna be the right way round so his foot goes out like that. Look, I've already given him a, a sex, he's a he. And then put the fabric right sides together, lining it up with that centre seam and then just stitch it across. So that's, one leg attached. Now it's really easy to put them on the wrong way round, so concentrate when you do that. So then I've got to do the same thing to the other leg and I'm going to attach that onto the other side of that centre tummy seam. So look, my legs are now attached to the tummy, but now we need to attach the back piece on. So I'm going to fold back the legs so that they're effectively inside. I'm going to line up the back seam. All my fabric is right sides together now. I'm lining up the back seam with the front seam of the tummy. So that's his bum and that's his tummy. My fabric's right sides together. And I'm going to work my way round and make sure that my notches line up until I get up to the neck on one side. So we sewed it from the middle, 
from the middle going all the way around up to the neck okay and we lined up our center seams of our front and our back and now with the, the legs inside we've got to do the same on the other side but just take your time and take it easy and squash those legs inside so we're working from the center remember when we sew that fabric is always on the left side of the machine so you know sometimes you do need to turn your work around so I'm just going to fit the legs in, line up my notches and stop when I get to where it meets the next seam. So lining up the notch and if it doesn't line up you can always ease one side or the other a little bit and make it fit. Squashing in the feet, you see that's why you don't want to over stuff the legs. Now the other thing that you need to do is do those snips because we've got a curve going on haven't we so we want a few snips going around the tummy and probably around the back a bit as well. So we end up with this weird looking thing but we're going to turn it the right way round now. Oh look that's so cute! Look at that I can't wait to see it finished. That's this bottom, that's the opening which you'll use to stuff the head and the body. So now we're going to deal with the arms and the paws. So with the arms and the paws, the first thing that you need to do is, you'll see you, you've got a piece that goes with the arm and it's basically the inside of the arm, so it's this part. And I've put a contrasting bit here, so the first thing we need to do is attach the paw to the inner arm. So we do that by having our fabric right sides together and I'm lining up the notch, there's kind of a little notch in there with the notch on the arm and then I'll just stitch that across and do the same to the other one as well. So you end up with two paws like this. So then we put the upper paw on right sides together making sure that it all lines up just stitch all the way around one all the way around another the other make sure your notches line up and then you just need to stuff it so then you end up with two arms with cute little paddy paws now what you do with those is you get the body of your teddy bear and push down your stuff in, make sure you've got the paddy paw facing like that inwards and we're just going to line it up with the side seam of the teddy bear body and we're going to stitch it across the neck. So it's just like a stay stitch, you don't have to do any backwards and forwards but make sure you're putting it in the right position and then do the same to the other paw as well. Oh look! Look how he's coming to life! Right, put your teddy to one side now because now we're going to do the ears. So, very, very simple. We want to get our contrast fabric, one of our contrast fabrics, put it together, line up all the notches as usual and then just sew all the way around the curve. Then, sorry if you're sick of me saying this, you've got to snip into your curves. It's just, it is so important. I'm going to turn it the right way round. Oh look, it's a little ear. That's so sweet. And then do the other ear as well. So we've got two cute, look, two cute little ears. Now put those to one side for the moment because we're going to start looking at the head. This is the head and what we're going to do is, that's that bit at the front, so I just want you to stitch up that shorter seam up the front. Backwards and forwards to start and then just curving up to where the nose is. Now look, this is a little bit tricky but you'll be fine. Now what we have to do is we have to get that funny nose bit and we've got to fill that space with it. 
Now, the best and easiest way to do it is <clears throat> to start, I would say, in the middle of the nose and start working your way up, out and lining up your notches. Now, it's a tiny bit tricky, okay, but you're going to be all right and it doesn't have to be totally perfect. So, I've got my front seam in line with the centre of that nose bit. And I'm going to start working my way around. And if I have any notches, I've got to line them up. So once you've done one side, then you can go in and do the other side. Now remember, always fabric is to the left of the machine, so you probably need to flip your work over and then start on the other side. Now, if I've got any funny curves on here, I'm going to notch into those on both sides. Let's have a look. Wow, it really looks like a nose. Now, the back seam of the head is where I've got two notches. It seems to be the kind of flatter bit. So I'm just going to stitch from the point going down to where it's flat down there. So now we're at the moment where we're going to attach our ears on. So decide where you want to put them. Now I'm going to put them on either side of that front panel at the front. Now when we do it we have to put our ears right sides with the fabric, okay, because I'm having my little black bits, the inner ear showing like that. So that's going to be right sides with the fabric and I'm going to use the machine to stitch it on and then do the same to the other ear as well. So you end up with this, there are his ears, that's the nose at the front. So flop his ears down because now we need to attach the back on. So look, that's the pointy bit at the top, okay, I'm opening it out and I'm lining that with the middle of that front panel on the nose and then I'm just going to work my way going around until I get to the bottom which will be where the neck is and do that on both sides. Okay and now I'm going to tuck my ear in and work my way down on the other side lining up my notches as I go. So we've got more curves so we've got to slip into those curves. Now listen when you did that, if it didn't line up properly, don't worry, because you can always cheat things a little bit in sewing. Well, not always, but often. On my neck, my neck didn't line up perfectly, so I'm just going to trim it to that notch, but I'll remember to put the notch back in. Oh, look! He looks like a little mouse! Look at that! So now we're ready to attach the head onto the body. Now we are supposed to go in that back hole and work inside, but I think you might find that a bit much. So we're going to start off by putting the head next to the body in the way that it's going to be. And then I'm just going to lean it forward and line up the centre of the seam at the front of the nose with the centre seam of the tummy and then I'm going to start stitching it on just the best that I can just to hold it on around the neck at the front. Now you know what if you found this too much you could easily just sew it by hand I mean it's only one little seam around the head. Right so now I'm going to come off so now I'm going to do that on the other side as well just working my way around to the side seam if I can. So once you've stitched it around the neck, I think you'll be fine to go in the back, the back hole. You've got to line up the back seam with the back seam of the neck. Now I'm grabbing it, I've got my hand inside that back hole and I'm grabbing the back of the neck and I'm going to just sort of pull it through the hole a little bit. Now I know this probably hurts your head, but it's alright, just take your time. So I'm holding on to that. I'm pulling it through and then just see where you have to sew and just slowly work your way around. Right, now all that we have to do is stuff it and when you stuff it 
Again, do it in stages. Push it right into the nose, right in there, right into the tummy, and then start working your way back down. Here he is, all stuffed. How amazing is that? Now, I'm leaving the hole at the back open for the moment because I'm having a little think about what I want to put inside. And then you just have to stitch up the back by hand. I love my stylish teddy bear. Thank you so much for watching Stitchless TV. Now, if you decide to make your teddy bear, share it on my Facebook page Stitch This TV Sewing Channel or Stitch This Tree. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. We've got more than 80 free sewing videos on Stitch This TV. So go and have a look at some other ones. Bye.